Folks, I want to talk with you today for a minute about climate information, because that's what we focus on here at American Resiliency is climate information. Not every country makes access to climate information political, but America is not the only country that does. In Australia, for example, we've seen changes in administration lead directly to purges of publicly funded climate information and the silencing of publicly funded communication around climate information. I started working in climate in 2015. Pretty quickly, I became certain about a couple of unpopular ideas. The first was that we were definitely going to overshoot the 1.5C threshold. We just weren't doing what it would take to stay below the 1.5C threshold. It was clear 10 years ago. In opposition to that obvious reality, within the climate community, though, there was plenty of patting ourselves on the back for how great we all were and about how we were the smart ones who had all the answers. There was a lot of energy then, and there still is now, that the real problem with climate is that everyone who wasn't already at the climate camp is stupid. And I don't think that's true. The second unpopular idea to which I became deeply committed was rooted in my strong opposition to this position that anyone has all the right answers. Climate information isn't something to fight over. Discuss, sure, and especially our response to the information requires serious discussion about what kind of future we want to build. But this whole fight about are the changes we're experiencing real or not, I've been uninterested in that fight for a long time. The question is, how do we respond? And the center of this issue isn't any group of people. The center of this issue shouldn't be rooted in any political ideology. The center of this issue is the earth. The need for our response is rising up out of the ground. My deepest hope is that understanding climate information, understanding what changes we expect to see on the ground can help point our communities in the right direction. Change is coming. The message is rising up from the ground. The need for change, deep change in the ways we live is rising up from the earth. American Resiliency works to provide meaningful access to climate information to all Americans. We don't receive any federal funding. We don't receive any state funding. We run on your donations. We're a donor-supported organization. Your gifts are what support this lighthouse. Your contributions keep the light shining on climate information. I couldn't do this without you. And I want you to know I'm going to keep going. There's no reason for me to stop. And I bet you knew it in your heart, too, that we're the ones who are going to do this work. What work happens to prepare, it's going to rise up from the ground. We'll do it together. We'll take in new information as best we can as it comes, and we'll respond to the challenges we're facing in these times of change as best we can. When climate information is political, the money that funds it can be pinched off. Do me a favor. If you haven't done this already, download the figures from the NCA5. The link is in the video description. That information belongs to us all. More copies of that publicly available core information hardens our resilience. When I founded AR, I was told by many people in the professional climate community that there was no audience for the kind of information I provide you all. I was told that people on the ground didn't care, that people on the ground couldn't understand this information. I knew that wasn't true. I believed you all were out there, and you are. I think it's important that we remember what's at the center. The earth is at the center. For all you regulars listening, thank you. Thank you for being part of the AR community, for contributing to this mission, the mission of making climate information accessible to all Americans. Let's keep going. Let's get ready. Hey folks, thanks for watching. I wanna take a moment to say thank you to the AR community, to the donors, to the volunteers, to everyone spreading the word online, and especially to everyone doing the work in your households and on the ground. It's thanks to all of you that I can keep doing this work and I'm so grateful for your support. I'm glad to be getting ready with you and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.